Like, I love this story so much. <laughs> but this is why Ben and Jerry should stick to doing what they do best, which is just giving us all diabetes. It's like, <laughs> come on, man. Nobody wants politics from their ice cream. Nobody. That's the thing. Just, it's, just give me a couple of scoops and Think about it. And I've been saying this for like five years because you remember how heavily active they got in like oh. during the BLM riots? Yes. Really think about this, Pierce. When I was a little kid, Okay, my white parents would yell at me for having too much ice cream. Mm. Now my ice cream yells at me for having white parents. <laughs> it's not supposed to work that way, man. It's We're ridiculous. doing it wrong. It's, they are incredibly irritating. Anyway, the good uh -huh. news is their parent company took a bit of a stock here, as all these woke companies are now finding. The public aren't going to put up with it anymore. They're sick and tired of it. And Just sell be. the damn products. Thank um, you. 40% of Brown University students say they're not straight anymore, they're LGBTQ. Mm. That population has tri tripled in 13 years and is now five times the national average. I, one of two things is happening here, uh -huh. Jimmy. Either this is genuine uh -huh. or what's happening? Well, let me give you this claim. <laughs> this happened at Brown. A college that's so woke, they wanted to defund the cop and the village people. <laughs> so you do, you do need to consider the source of what's going on here. Yeah. But here's the truth. It is they're reading the market, okay? Mm. The number one piece of capital you can have at an Ivy League college is victim points. Mm. And all of the trendy oppression is in saying you're trans, mm. okay? That's where the status comes from on campus right now. And that's the bigger problem. If you're a trans man, you get prizes. Mm. You get women's mm. swimming trophies. You get endorsements. And I think that's where this is headed. There is no 